Hey, what's up? Aloha, gang. Today, for my kayak project, I'm going to be installing paddle holders. I'm going to be using the Scotty brand. Uh, you can see there, Scotty. And I chose this over the uh, typical eBay brands because I figure these things are going to be holding uh, quite a bit of weight. Not from the paddle itself, but from the torquing because the paddle is, is long and this is it's going to be a uh, torquing especially if you're going to be leaving your paddle on during transport like in my truck so you figure all the weight on the ends is going to be just torquing it so and uh, another thing I noticed about the Scotty brand these bolt holes are f farther apart than the than the ones that you find on eBay which are closer together so being farther apart wider gives it more support so that's why I chose the Scotty brand uh, with the rod, um, the paddle holder I'm going to be backing it with this uh, scrap cutting board material that I had left over for my hatch install project so I don't know if it's a bit of overkill but uh, again I want this area to be supported very well and very secure and solid so again the paddles won't distort the plastic and as you can see I kind of con contoured it with the belt sander so the edges wouldn't show through the plastic on hot sunny days when the plastic is quite soft um, I don't know if it's gonna happen but I just wanted to make sure I didn't want any lines showing because of the sharp edges of the uh, cutting board uh, because and because of the, the panel that this is going on to is there's a slight curve so that's why I did this uh, if you notice, I have some stainless steel 10 30 seconds uh, T nuts. Or I don't know if you can call it blind nuts, but uh, these are these go, these are the ones that with the spikes. So um, I'm going to be using these to, instead of nuts, regular nuts. Because. I couldn't find flange nuts. The flange nuts you could usually just pound in the hole and then they would stay secure and I couldn't find stainless steel ones so I just used T nuts. I think I think these are better anyway. But how I did this was uh you can, you can see spikes right there. You just kind of locate it by installing, I mean putting this together and then kind of aligning it these holes are, are a bit bigger than the uh, t-nuts so you have a, a bit of play so you can adjust it and then just slightly torque it down until these teeth that you see there start digging in and you do that as much as you can without distorting the t-nut itself or distorting the teeth on the T-nut and you could do that as uh, not too much you don't want to again distort it and then uh, what I do later being careful not to knock that T-nut off because it's not in there too secure so oops I take a hammer and I pound it in more oops and after that you can maybe put a dab of a uh, silicone just to keep it in place so it doesn't fall out well while you're inside of the canoe or kayak and screwing it in yeah initially I bought these uh, 
Yak Attack rigging bullets for this install because uh, I didn't have any access to the area but I decided to cut open a third hatch hole and that allowed me access so I'm not going to be using this I can reach it with my hand now so. oh yeah by the way these things are in my opinion way overpriced but then again when there's a area in your kayak that you can't reach with your hand these are invaluable <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to figure out a way to make my own or figure out a way around it. I'm sure there's a way, but for $15, my goodness. But I'm glad these exist for that kind of situations. So I'm just going to be uh, drilling the holes in the kayak and uh, I'll show you the finish install. Well, here it is, guys. It's all connected. Bolted down. Bungee ball in place. And look how solid that is. Pretty happy with how it came out. Pretty easy. Again, I had the, the hole right there. Uh, kind of had to be a contortionist to get to the spot, but easy enough but what matters most is when I snap this thing in look at that it's pretty sturdy I'm liking it and for when I'm transporting the kayak in the back of my truck I can put these on to make sure you know they do pop out or try one want to pop out these are kind of help them stay in and if they do fly out hopefully this will hang on to the paddle <laughs> hopefully but uh, I'm pretty confident that it will help hold it in so yeah there you go uh, so if you were thinking about installing one of these uh, clip-on paddle holders I would recommend that you put a backing plate behind it uh, a pretty good size one or maybe this big stainless steel fender washers those huge ones to help support it so it's sturdy look at that it's solid uh, no rivets uh, no self tapping just machine screws and a backing plate so that's pretty solid um, I also use that method for this pad eye right here this is going, going to be uh, used for another project you'll see later on but uh, I needed this to withstand the upward pressure that it would go through so I backed it with another piece of scrap cutting board and uh, except for the fact that this is self-tapping screws it's just uh, tapped screwed into the uh, cutting board material so hopefully that works I'm sure it will but yeah again if you're considering using one of these uh, paddle clips uh, I would recommend that you put a backing plate behind it make it more sturdy and add one of these too if you want all right aloha thanks for watching please like my page and uh catch you guys later aloha